Good afternoon, folks. I wanted to make sure we fully understand the top story from this morning, but in the name of space weather, let's start with some eye candy from this morning. Right after the morning show, a solid filament erupted away from the incoming limb. This one is aimed 90 degrees away from the Earth. There are no planets over there in the line of fire. Remember, filament eruptions do not have solar flare warnings. They just erupt, which is why we monitor them so closely. Anyway, the top story this morning was this. The space weather impact from the September 2017 solar storm was actually exceeding the impacts of the great 2003 Halloween solar storm, which was much, much bigger in terms of the solar flare, solar wind enhancement, and geomagnetic disturbance. Now, the paper hypothesizes that ionospheric currents can be so non-homogeneous that sometimes they will anomalously create bigger geoelectric and induction effects than a bigger solar storm. I am not so convinced. And the argument is a bit thin, to be honest. But I will give my explanation and then play devil's advocate. Obviously, with the magnetic field weakening and the ongoing pole shift and geomagnetic excursion, we are seeing this more and more as time goes on. Less and less space weather producing more and more effects. We have been discussing this quite a bit lately. And so, to me, this is not at all unsurprising. But let's go ahead and take their explanation of anomalously strong ionospheric currents. Well, for those who have our books or who have been watching for a while, you know that anomalous ionospheric activity is expected with the pole shift, and we have already seen quite a bit of it. In fact, here is page 65 and 66 of our 2022 supplement. While the science journals have kind of gone silent on this topic the last two years, there was the discovery and subsequent confirmation that the ionosphere was reaching the same disruption level seen during the grand solar maximum of the 1900s. Solar activity is maybe half as strong these days, but we're seeing similar and sometimes stronger activity in the ionosphere, the auroral activity, and geomagnetic storm effects. So let's just go ahead and say they are correct, that there were anomalously strong ionospheric currents. The explanation remains the same. I think you can just peg the weakening magnetic field, but if we insist on going with the hypothesis in the paper, it's still happening because of the weakening magnetic field, the pole shift, the geomagnetic excursion. Just one more piece of evidence. Subscribe, and I will see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.